Hello there, Supatthiva, dear friends of the Dhamma. Welcome back to the Dhamma school, the Dhamma of the Buddha, the teachings of the Buddha. In our last lesson, we learned the miracle of Vipassana. How the practice of Vipassana in the tries leads to cognitive and emotional consonance and subsequently fulfills the virtuous verbal and physical conduct in Magadhi known as Pati Viratu. Practically, the liberation from ten immoral actions or fulfillment of the triple virtuous conduct is equivalent to abiding by the five precepts taught by the Buddha. Liberation from three immoral physical actions or fulfillment of the virtuous physical conduct is equivalent to abiding by the first three precepts. Liberation from four types of immoral speech or fulfillment of the virtuous verbal conduct is equivalent to abiding by the fourth precept. Liberation from three immoral psychological actions or the attainment of cognitive and emotional consonants is equivalent to abiding by the fifth precept. In the fifth precept, the Buddha didn't intend abstaining from alcohol or drugs, but three toxic intentions, rag, dosa, and more. One who abstains from rag, dosa, and more automatically abstains from alcohol and drugs too. In Gihi Suttan, Gihi means lay people. In Gihi Sutta, the Buddha taught the five precepts to Anatta Pindika, the Buddha's chief lay disciple. In this Sutta, the Buddha enunciated the five precepts in the sense of pati viratu. Panati pata pati viratu hoti, adinadana pati viratu hoti, kame sumichachara pati viratu hoti, musavada pati viratu hoti, surame reya majapamadatana pati viratu hoti. Pati viratu. Pati means attachment. V means separation, Rato means psychological exuberance which arises through the six senses. Then Pativirato means accomplishment of moral conduct due to cognitive and emotional consonance detaching from the psychological exuberance which arises through the six senses. Now, liberation from ten immoral actions or abiding by the five precepts or fulfillment of the triple virtuous conduct means nothing other than setting the eightfold path in motion to abandon the journey of existence. Now it is necessary to point out that there are three kinds of eightfold paths, the trinity of eightfold paths. The first one, the demeritorious path or sinful path 
or awful path or wrong path, known as wrong view, wrong intention, wrong speech, wrong action, wrong livelihood, wrong effort, wrong mindfulness and wrong concentration. Then the mundane path or the meritorious path or blissful path or right path known as right view, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness and right concentration. Now the question is, what is the root cause of both paths? The arising of rag, dosa and moha. Samudaya. Personalization of the five aggregates or ignorance of reality or unawareness of the law of cause and effect. Meritorious path creates meritorious kam or white kam. Demeritorious path creates demeritorious kam or black kam. The teaching of the Buddha is not for creation of new kam, but for eradication of all kam. That is why the Buddha introduced the supramundane eightfold path to abandon the journey of existence, eradicating all kam. Majji ma pati pada. Majji means intoxication. What do we get intoxicated with? Rag, dosa and moha. They are the three toxic intentions that intoxicate our minds. Ma means to free. Patipada means path. Then majji ma Patipada means path for liberation from intoxication with three toxic intentions called Raga, Dosa and more. In Magadhi known as Sanma Ditti, Sanma Sankappu, Sanma Vacha, Sanma Kammantu, Sanma Ajivu, Sanma Vayamu, Sanma Sati and Sanma Samadhi. San means Raga, Dosa and Moha. Ma means to free. Ditti means weave. Then Sanma Ditti means weave for liberation from Raga, Dosa and Moha. Sankappo means intention. Then Sanma Sankappo means intention to liberate from Raga, Dosa and Moha. Vacha means words or speech. Then Sanma Vacha means words free of Raga, Dosa and Moha. Kamantu, Anto means ending. Kamma means come. Psychological come. Verbal kam and physical kam. In other terms, meritorious kam, demeritorious kam, and imperturbable kam. Then, sanma kamanto means ending all kam based on raga, dosa, and moha. Ajivo, a means to abandon, jivo means life. Then, sanma. Ajivo means the abandonment of livelihood based on Raga, Dosa and Moha. In other terms, Sanma Ajivo means the abandonment of existence based on Raga, Dosa and Moha. Vayamo means effort. Then Sanma Vayamo means effort for liberation from Raga, Dosa and Moha. Sati. Sati means appreciation of a thought object against the law of cause and effect and the principle of existential indebtedness. Then Sanma Sati means application of the law of cause and effect and the principle of existential indebtedness for 
liberation from rag dosa and moha samadhi means concentration then sanma samadhi means concentration for liberation from rag dosa and moha so it is necessary to point out that sanma samadhi we need to concentrate on nothing but liberation from rag dosa and moha aryo eightfold path a means to abandon riya means the journey of existence then the eightfold path to abandon the journey of existence in dutiya sariputta sutta the buddha asked a question from arihat sariputta sariputta what are the requisites of stream entry sota pannahut then arihat sariputta replied purusha sansevo hi bante sota patyangan encountering a kalana friend o arya person is the first requisite the second one saddhamma savanan sota patyangan listening to authentic dhamma from them which means listening to their experiential knowledge of raising wholesome intentions and eradication of unwholesome intentions the third one yoniso manasikaro sotapattyangan activating emotional intelligence generally known as appropriate attention the last one dhamma anudhamma patipatti sotapattyangan putting the four protective strategies into practice as vipassana or as samato in tandem with vipassana empowering anapana sati samadhi as and when emotional intelligence requires it now the question is what is yoniso manasikaro what is emotional intelligence emotional intelligence means the ability to identify the seed of intention that is about to emanate from the mind door because of the sensory contact of this moment whether it leads to the advancement of impurity and the erosion of purity or the advancement of purity and the erosion of impurity evaluating it against the law of cause and effect and the principle of existential indebtedness the analogy is a soldier on guard must have the ability to identify those approaching whether they are civilians colleagues or enemies similarly a practitioner must have the ability to identify the seed of intention that is about to emanate from the mind door whether it is a non aligned intention or a wholesome intention or an unwholesome intention if it is an unwholesome intention the four protective strategies must be applied empowering an pan sati sama it is impossible to practice
practice the four protective strategies empowering anapana sati samadhi without activating emotional intelligence then and there in a trice emotional intelligence and the practice of anapana sati samadhi these two requisites of stream entry are well explained in satipattana sutta 2 but in different terms aranyagatova the abandonment of the combative mindset to possess and personalize the five aggregates rukkamula gatova protecting the mind without returning to the battlefield sunyagara gatova provisionally keeping the mind void of defilements nisidati pallankan abujitva being humble bringing conceit and vanity to the lowest degree these four factors explain the necessary mentality or psychological preparation one must achieve to activate emotional intelligence obviously after listening to authentic dhamma from a kalana friend and then ujunkayam panidaya parimukam satin upatta pettu keep in watch over all the senses with the erect perspective of profoundly eradicating the sequence of actions that lead to psychological entertainment advancement of the sequence of actions that lead to psychological entertainment is equivalent to the advancement of impurity and the erosion of purity therefore ujunkayam panidaya parimukam satin upatta pittva means nothing but activating emotional intelligence and finally so satova assasati satova passasati put in the four protective strategies into practice as vipassana or as samato in tandem with vipassana empowering anapana sati samadhi as and when emotional intelligence requires it the practice of vipassana empowers anapana sati samadhi we associate the three perceptions of reality anicca dukkha and anatta which is the wholesome intention and simultaneously dissociating from the three perceptions of false imagination that is about to raise its head nicca sukha and atta which is the unwholesome intention this wholesome intention is called sanma sankappo intention to liberate from raga dosha and moha now the question is why did we practice vipassana why did we raise this wholesome intention as the forerunner to raise this wholesome intention it is sanma ditti view for liberation from raga dosha and moha is activated as a forerunner to raise this wholesome intention so have we already made an effort to raise this wholesome intention yes of course the buddha detailed this great effort in four aspects the first one an effort to raise this wholesome intention the second one 
an effort to associate this wholesome intention. And simultaneously, the third one, an effort to prevent further progress of that unwholesome intention. And the fourth one, an effort to dissociate from that unwholesome intention. This great effort is called Sanma Vayamu, effort for liberation from Raga, Dosa and more. The next question is, what kind of law or what kind of theory have we applied to raise this wholesome intention? It is Sanma Sati. Application of the law of cause and effect and the principle of existential indebtedness for liberation from rag, dosa and more. The analogy is how we drivers shift our foot from the accelerator pedal to the brake pedal as soon as we see the brake light of the vehicle in front. There, we associated the brake pedal and simultaneously we dissociated from the accelerator pedal. Now the question is, why did we brake? Because of the view. The view to prevent an accident is activated as a forum. We have already made an effort to prevent an accident. The braking system of vehicle is made of such a law and that law was applied to prevent an accident. Similarly, Sanma Ditti, view for liberation from Raga, Dosa and Moha, Sanma Vayamo, effort for liberation from Raga, Dosa and Moha. Sanma Sati, application of the law of cause and effect and the principle of existential indebtedness for liberation from Raga, Dosa and Moha. These three factors have been activated simultaneously and synchronously to raise this wholesome intention, Sanma Sankapu. So now we realize that first of all, Sanma Ditti was activated. Now the question is, what was the forerunner to activate Sanma Ditti. Sanma Ditti itself is the forerunner of Sanma Ditti. So have we already made an effort to activate Sanma Ditti? Yes, of course, always applying Sanma Sati. So, Sanma Ditti is activated with Sanma Ditti itself as a forerunner, power of effort and application of Sati. The fulfillment of Sanma Sankappu is equivalent to the attainment of cognitive and emotional consonants. The next question is, now 
is there any corrupted mental energy to debase our verbal conduct sanma vacha words free of raga dosa and moha sanma vacha is fulfilled with view as a forerunner power of effort and application of sati now is there any corrupted mental energy to debase our physical conduct sanma kammant end in all come based on raga dosa and moha is fulfilled with view as a forerunner power of effort and application of sati now the triple virtuous conduct is fulfilled moreover sanma ajiv the abandonment of livelihood based on raga dosa and moha is fulfilled with view as a forerunner power of effort and application of sati according to my explanation how many factors are now activated sanma ditti 1 sanma sankappu 2 sanma vacha 3 sanma kammantu 4 sanma ajivo 5 sanma vayamo 6 sanma sati 7 where is the eighth factor haven't we already focused on activating this purification process of seven factors aryo sanma samadhi is already fulfilled concentration for liberation from raga dosa and moha to abandon the journey of existence is already fulfilled unknowingly the equanimity is reached passing through the four supramandane dhyanas aryo eightfold path the eightfold path to abandon the journey of existence is experienced for the very first time as a result of practicing vipassana in a trice in magadhi soto means the eightfold path the stream apanno means entered or armed with then sota panno means stream enter or stream winner now this very new stream winner realizes the ninth and tenth factors sanma jnana supreme knowledge for liberation from raga dosa and moha and sanma vimutti the attainment of sotapanna hood liberating from raga dosa and moha sotapanna hood is the first stage of enlightenment or arahanta hood this very new stream winner realizes that sun causes were about to arise but timely application of vipassana set the eightfold path 
in motion. Therefore, the practitioner experiences nirodhu. Liberation, O Nibbana. Liberation from rag, dosa, and moha bondages for the very first time. If vipassana was not timely applied, if sun causes were allowed to arise, what would be the result? Duk, stress. But now, stress that was about to arise is ceased or eradicated. This experience is called realization of Dukkha Arya Satya. Truth of stress to abandon the journey of existence. Realization of Dukkha Samudaya Arya Satya. Truth of the origin of stress to abandon the journey of existence. Realization of Dukkha Nirodha Arya Satya. Truth of Cessation of stress to abandon the journey of existence and realization of Dukkha Nirodha Gamini Patipada Arya Satch. Truth of the path of practice that leads to cessation of stress to abandon the journey of existence. In other terms, the experience of sun, rag, dosa, and more. Asan, the abandonment of rag, dosa, and more, and sankhaya. Eradication of Raga, Dosa, and Moha. Sun, Asan, and Sankhaya. The Trinity of Sun. The practice of Vipassana empowering Anapana Sati Samadhi sets the wheel of Dhamma in motion. together with all 37 requisites of enlightenment in Magadhi known as Satis Bodhipakshik Dham. The direct experience of the four Arya truths is the nucleus or the hallmark or the destination of the teaching of the Buddha. By practicing vipassana, we no longer surrender to our ignorance and past conditioning. So this very new stream winner realizes that past conditioning of wrong view in Magadhi known as Ditta Sava is completely eradicated along with some of past conditioning of sensuality, becoming and ignorance related with the awful habits 
in Magadino as Apaya Gamaniyo Kamasavu, Apaya Gamaniyo Bhavasavu, and Apaya Gamaniyo Avijasavu. That is why a stream winner will never be reborn in the four awful realms. By practicing vipassana in the trice, we have acted against the personalization of the five aggregates. That means the powerful perspective of possessing and personalizing the five aggregates as being very precious and rewarding is already undone or broken. Sakkaya ditti is already undone. Vichikicca, V means vijnana energy, corrupted cognitive energy. Chi means chitta, emotional domain. Ki means kilit, impure. Icca means innate mental desire. Then vichikicca means the impure desire of a cognitively corrupted emotional domain no longer permitted with the attainment of cognitive and emotional consonants. Therefore, vichikicca is already undone. Silabhata Paramasu, the powerful perspective of taking mundane morality rites and rituals as the primary food for existential survival, is already undone with the attainment of supramundane morality, the triple virtuous conduct. The first three fetters are already undone with the attainment of sotapannahood. Normally we practice the four protective strategies Asubhanusati and Mettanusati as Samato and Marananusati and Buddhanusati as Vipassana. But the practice of the four protective strategies fulfills six other strategies too. In Magadhi known as Dhammanusati, Sanghanusati, Silanusati, Dvatanusati, Chaganusati, and Anapanasati. The fulfillment of Sanghanusati means Sanghan Charanan Gacha, or generally known as Sanghan Saranan Gacha. I follow the path leading to the cessation of Dukkha. Conducting myself free from sensuality, materiality, and immateriality by breaking the raga, dosa, and moha existential attachment. The fulfillment of Dhammanusati means Dhammang Saranan Gacha. I follow the path leading to the cessation of Dukkha. Conducting myself free from sensuality, materiality, and immateriality by applying the law of cause and effect and the principle of existential indebtedness. The fulfillment of Buddhanusati means Buddhan Saranan Gacha. I follow the path leading to the cessation of Dukkha. Conducting myself free from sensuality, materiality, and immateriality by eradicating defiled mental properties. This very new stream winner realizes the supramundane meaning of taking refuge in the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha for the very 
first time. Sila Anusati means the attainment of supramundane morality. Dvata Anusati means experiencing the duality, existence and liberation from existence. Chaga Anusati means liberation from the five aggregates of attachment. And finally, Anapana Sati, fulfillment of the association and dissociation compatible with the law of cause and effect and the principle of existential indebtedness. Majji ma pati pada Path for liberation from intoxication. Majji ma pati pada is mistranslated as middle path or middle way. Generally, it is interpreted as the median between the extremes of sensual indulgence and self-mortification. But self-mortification and sensual indulgence both are based on the arising of raga, dosa, and moha, samudaya. So the Buddha never taught a middle path or middle way, but majji ma pati pada, a path for liberation from intoxication with three toxic intentions called raga, dosa and moha. There is a simple sutta to understand the meaning of terms majji and ma. This sutta is called Arakka Sutta. Arakka means to protect. What must our minds be protected from? Let's see. Mame Rajaniye Su Dhamme Su Chittan Rajjiti. Liberation from pleasant intentions that impassion my emotional domain. Mame Dosaniye Su Dhamme Su Chittan Dusiti. Liberation from unpleasant intentions that make my emotional domain aversive. Ma me mohaniye su dhamme su chittan muihiti. Liberation from indecisive intentions that dilute my emotional domain. And finally, Ma me madaniye su dhamme su chittan majjiti. Liberation from toxic intentions that intoxicate my emotional domain. Majji ma pati pada. Path for liberation from intoxication with three toxic intentions called raga, dosa and moha. Now the question is, what is the relationship of the four Arya truths with the threefold law of cause and effect in Magadhi known as Paticca Samuppada? All right, let's continue our discussion in our next lesson. Supatveva, everyone.